Where are we going? Going to the little park. Uh huh. There's a lot of art. This is a fun part of downtown. It's known as the Historic District. And once a year, like pre-corona, they have the Historic District open and they would have people in colonial clothing showing how um, people would use guns back then and cooking and how they dressed and all those good things. But we didn't have that this year of the coronavirus so we're just gonna let the kids play we came here yesterday and they had a lot of fun Can I do it? Hey, Quentin, stand your mind. This is fun. Okay, but now I'm gonna show you everything that the park has to offer Oh, look! <gasps> Hi! Yes! We're strolling through. Can we come in? So today we are actually free. Um, we aren't giving our public tours today, but we do have some self-guided museums going on. Um, we have our Barrios Cottage, which is the yellow one here. We have our Museum of Commerce, which is the brown brick building right back there. And then in here we have our Julie Cottage, and we have our white brick building down this pathway here. So here we have the game called Graces. Which is where you want to demonstrate yes, as well. I'll right. you demonstrate. Let's, this let's is a good this. social distancing game. This is a game. fun game. So basically you just have this hoop and you're basically just trying to oh throw it to the other person. And they should catch it. Hopefully. If you're good at it. If you're good at it. You catch it. And you just make up the rules as you go, you know. Um, when I'm big, I can fail at that yeah. toy. Cup and ball. Ball and cup. Yeah. <laughs> cup and ball. Ball and cup. You're just trying to make it in here. Which I'm not very good at. <laughs> that one's a hard one. Very hard. This one's called a whirly gig, and it's similar to a yo-yo or almost a, oh, we'll a, spinner, a colonial fidget spinner. Um, yeah. So you twist it around, get it nice and tight, and then you pull. And when you get it going, I don't know if y'all can hear, hear this noise. That's called a whirly gig. It's that noise that gives it that name. Yeah, just like a fidget spinner. Are y'all repeating? No, you just watch. Hi, what are you guys making? Oh, a well. This is a well. You wouldn't want to be cooking in your actual house because it's really, really hot here. So you don't really want to be inside because if you're doing that, it's going to be too hot and smoky, and then you'd have to sleep in the same house. You just don't want that. So you build a little tiny building instead. You do all your cooking out here, you share it with your neighbors, and then when you're done, you take all of your food inside your own house. 
So what do you guys think about that? Is that maybe a little different from what you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. I'm guessing you guys probably cook in, indoors mostly, right? We cook outside sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> right. Don't touch some rocks. Yeah. These are quite I'm sharp, sure. so we don't want it. But I can tell you how to cook them. I just laugh. And they are. So these are very special rocks. These are called flint. So we have here flint, and then this is a kind of metal called steel. And this is actually how they would start their fires back then. If you hit them together like this, you see that? It makes sparks. Yeah, I see the spark. Yeah. So, when you make the sparks, you have to have something to catch the sparks, because otherwise, you guys saw, they kind of just went away. So, what we do is we have this here. This is called jute, which is a kind of plant. You dry it up. And then we have here something called char cloth. And char cloth is like any old clothes that you have. What you would do back then is if they were too old, you couldn't really repair them. You would just kind of cut them up into little squares, put them in a tin like this, and cook them until they were really really dark like this and they were nice and soft and then it's very good for catching sparks with. And so that's how we started our fire this morning when we actually started cooking. So we actually did a little cooking today ourselves. We made some French toast. So we can't share it with you guys unfortunately but we can show it to you. So have you guys ever had French toast? Yeah. Did you guys cook it over a fire like this in a fireplace? Yeah. You guys probably used a stove, right? Yeah, but French toast is still really tasty, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might I think I might have breakfast for dinner tonight. I, this is making me very hungry. But we made the bread here ourselves the other day. garden? Look, see the cucumbers? What is that, Aria? Came on a good day, didn't we, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we did. There's not many people. There's not many people, and a lot of stuff is open, and there's a nice breeze. Now can we, now can we go inside stuff? Quentin. Mama, now can we go inside stuff since we, we just know this? We are sweating like crazy. We're gonna go to the museum next. Museum time! particular house is all about black history here in Pensacola. You can see this poster right here. It's free blacks of Pensacola. So it's all about the history of slaves and free black people 
in the early days of Pensacola. That's what this house is all about. And it has artifacts and pictures from back then. So that last house we just went to, this one right here, with the African American history in Pensacola actually had damage done to it twice by two hurricanes and it had to be reconstructed. There's a lot of history in there, but we couldn't look at everything because our kids are little, so they were pretty impatient. You wanna get some hand sanitizer, guys? Well, this did not look this big from the outside. the video? Mama, what's this? You want to show me around, Quentin? I, I want to show you the sea card. How can you turn it? Oh, oh, that's oh, inside oh, it. How can I Thank <laughs> you. 
Like I said, I'm working on technique first. We're gonna make it first. Yes, yeah, so she's going to get a pass. All right, everyone, it's been a beautiful, fun day here in downtown Missoula. We are heading home to make dinner and relax for the evening. And uh, we appreciate you guys coming along with us. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can come along with us on our journey as a family and learn more about hair care and low carb cooking. I have more videos coming out. I have videos that I post every single week. So hit the notification bell if you want to see my videos first thing in your inbox or however you receive notifications on your devices. Get a thumbs up if you like it. Goodbye.